combatives. A test of skill, but moreover, a test of will. This is a competition which pushes its participants to their absolute limits. The tournament is also a test of nerves, as your score, the way you handle winning and losing are all on display. Army Staff Sergeant Stephen Martin, the Level 4 Certified Combatives Instructor who refereed the event, says the fighters who participate in these tournaments are the real deal. All the real soldiers in the Army compete in these things. Uh, we always talk about, we preach about personal courage and everything, but a lot of people believe personal courage is going to a board. Some people believe it's doing a two-mile run or a ruck march. And, but you get in there and you actually take a couple of punches in the face and you're able to still finish the fight. Now that shows personal courage. They're not getting paid for this like the UFC. They're not, there's no glory at the end, only your pride. It's just you by yourself standing alone and you're uh, putting on a show for everybody else. The rules for competitors are augmented each time the fighter moves on to the next round. Uh, there's three different sets of rules that you graduate up to. First set of rules are the standard rules. You, uh, you start standing, you're taken down, and you're looking for a submission. Now if you keep winning, then you go on to intermediate rules. Once you go on to intermediate rules, uh, you put knee pads on, you put shin pads on, and you're allowed to slap to the face, punch to the body, and you can kick to the face and body. Once again, you're looking for a submission. If you continue to win, then you go on to advanced rules. Advanced rules, you put the four ounce gloves on, you take a t-shirt off, and put five Fighting shorts on. Now those people, uh, there's full contact, you're allowed to punch to the face, punch to the body, knee strikes uh, from the neck below. Sergeant Martin says there is a purpose for the progressive set of rules. Well the reason that we have three sets of graduated rules is because uh, you t like if we had wrestling, people focused on, you know, just trying to gain points. If we had boxing, people wouldn't worry about takedowns. That's why we had a set of gra uh, graduated set of rules. So the, if you're a boxer, you still have to be able to fight on the ground at the beginning. And then if you're a ground fighter, um, then you still have to be able to uh, be able to stand fighting up and be able to throw some punches and block some punches in order to actually win the uh, tournament. So you can't focus training on one aspect. You have to train in all three areas. All these fighters and their skills know how to put on a great show. But it's their never quit attitude which makes the combatives tournament a truly dramatic event. I'm specialist Richard Slaymaker, Camp Carroll, Korea.